I'm already running into some issues today. I just tried to turn on my nice camera because I wanted to shoot a video with my, with my nice camera because, you know, it's expensive and I should utilize it. It just won't turn on. I don't know why, but it's just not turning on. So anyway, hi guys. Welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you guys are new here. My name is Hannah. So today I'm going to do something that is very long overdue, at least in my life, and that would be dyeing my hair because... I don't want this to be like crazy thorough. This is not a tutorial. This is just me showing you guys what this hair color looks like. Every time that I color my hair, I'm always looking online, like at people's pictures, at videos, especially to kind of just get an understanding of what a color looks like before I want to put it in my hair. Of course, I just wanted to share with you guys so that maybe I can help somebody out. The color we're doing today is a color that I personally have never used before and I'm really excited to try it out. It is the Arctic Fox Electric Paradise which is a UV reactive semi-permanent hair color and it is supposed to be like a hot pink color which honestly is not my thing but looking at this color compared to virgin pink which is the color that I was typically using I wanted to do something that was like a little bit more peachy almost or had more like orangey tones in it as compared to like deeper purpley tones, if you guys are catching a drift. I don't really know if that makes sense. And my bleach that I ordered weeks ago, like maybe a month ago now, never came. So my roots are insane. Please, if you wanna comment about them, go ahead. It doesn't really matter to me. But I'm aware, I have to look at them every single day. So yeah, I'm just gonna show you what my hair looks like right now, and then we're gonna get to dyeing it. Um, if you guys have never used Arctic Fox before, if you've never seen um, previous videos where I used Arctic Fox, Arctic Fox is a cruelty-free and vegan hair dye. It like doesn't damage your hair at all, in my opinion. I don't know. I feel like it honestly helps my hair. So no peroxide, no ammonia, no ethyl alcohol, no PPDs. This again is the Electric Paradise and yeah, I'm just gonna do my hair. This is what my hair looks like right now. Um, I don't typically brush my hair because I style my hair naturally and so yeah I don't brush it so my hair has not been brushed in like two months but I mean I wash it and detangle it but it hasn't been brushed like actually brushed in a long time. There's definitely still a little bit of pink like underneath here I don't know if you guys can see that. I am too scared to apply this hair dye not diluted at all. So I am going to dilute it just a little bit with some conditioner that I have. You can use any white conditioner. Um, honestly, I think that you could use any conditioner, but I like to use a white conditioner because then I can see what color it's gonna be on my hair. So once again, my hair is pretty much platinum. It's very, very light. Um, I could tone it first, but I'm not going to because if I tone it and I use peroxide on my hair, then my roots are gonna change color and I don't wanna do that. So for now, we're just gonna dye it. I'm gonna put gloves on. I already have my t-shirt on. I do have, I don't know if you guys wanna see this, but I do have a towel below me because I don't wanna get anything on the floor. And of course, the kitten is just laying right there. I put in just about that much conditioner, which actually is a good bit. So I'm gonna use quite a bit of color, I guess. Also, these hair dyes are the best smelling hair dyes on the face of the planet. So this is the color just in the bottle. You can see it's like very like, almost like reddish orange based. It looks really nice, I'm really excited about it. So I just put it in the bowl. We're gonna mix it up. Okay guys, I have brushed my hair out. And now I'm going to put the hair dye on. I am Hermione Granger. Who would have known? Here we go, here we go. layers to go <laughs> I have a lot of hair I am so so surprised by how many people have been telling me 
on my videos that they had the same hair texture as me and that they have always struggled with it and always felt like they were alone. I'm like, dude, it's just insane that like, I've never met anybody kind of similar texture to my, as, as my hair, but like, not like this. It's really bright, but I think it's gonna look really cute. So I'm okay with it. Professional technique that a lot, takes a lot of practice to get down, but if you work really hard at it and you really believe in yourself, you might get it down. But you know, I wouldn't really, you know, place all your all your bets on it. I'm just kidding. I'm just using my hands. So how have you guys been? Been doing okay in this um, new lifestyle that we have going on. Clearly, I'm doing fine. And then I'm gonna go and clean my house because I am an old person now and that's all that I ever do. Actually, I've been doing that since I was like 15, so. Wash it out and I'll show you guys what it looks like. Hi guys, I'm back again. The sun is setting and it is blasting in my eyes, the reflection on the building across the street. And my hair is done and I have no makeup on because I didn't want to put makeup on again because quite frankly my skin has been breaking out. This is the final look. This is what it looks like. I think it looks so nice. I love the color. It's very peachy. It's perfect. And also, I haven't styled my hair in like over two months. I never want to style my hair ever again. It takes like 10 million years to style my hair. Anyway, so yeah, that's the final product. Arctic Fox, Electric Paradise, a bit diluted. I'd probably say like half and half. And I do think that it looks lighter on the camera, just saying, because the sun is like blasting on it. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I super appreciate you guys. I'll see you guys in the next video.